Hi, we're here talking with Daniel the Buddhist, a SNAP finalist. You're one of the few ceramic artists in this show. Tell me a little bit about the, what stands out for me is the surface of this piece. What, what was that, what's that treatment about for you? I think it was a lot of playing around mostly. Um, it started with making work that people would want to touch but also be a little bit afraid of touching and building surfaces that are unusual for functional vessels. So I kind of make a form that relates very much to function that people would think of in history but I'm trying to do something to it to kind of take that function away and make it more sculptural. So when, when you're approaching that, do you have any specific pattern in your mind? Or are you just throwing things at a pot? I, I take it you throw this and then you and then you put on you go on top of it. Yeah, I make the form first on the wheel, but it's a combination of like traditional wheel throwing and then coil building. And then after it's finished, I just start building up the surface texture and it's it's more of an automatic, like automatic drawing kind of a thing where you're not thinking about it so much. And I like to say that, but I really think about it a lot. But <laughs> it's, uh, so, so you, you just think about perhaps the weight of different areas yeah. visually, not piling up too much somewhere and, and, or, or piling up too little somewhere else. Yeah, I try and think that there's like maximalism and minimalism happening on the piece at the same time. So I go a bit crazy on one side and then a little bit less to kind of give a moment of calm or, or respite as you're looking at the piece. And uh, yeah, just little bit little bit random but. the uh, glazing process there's quite a few colors on here uh, is that's was that approached the same way uh, as you approach the uh, texture on the pot yeah I kind of just walk around with a brush and I have like about seven different glazes and I just start like getting them on the piece um, and I fired this one about three times so it's after the first firing then I can kind of add some more in places where I think it didn't quite happen the way I wanted it to so there's controlled randomness I think it's maybe the way to describe it where I let it be what it is but also manipulate it as much as I can. <laughs> so. Tell me a little bit about the gravity of the piece because as a ceramicist you have to think about gravity you have to think about how how they'll exist in real in the real world with real physics. This one has quite a narrow bottom yeah. and, and quite a wide top. Uh, yeah. What kind of consideration goes into that? Well, you just hope and pray that it doesn't tip over, but it's heavy enough that I think if you did hit it, it's not going to fall over right away. So the nice thing about making something that's more sculptural than functional is you can add a bit more density to the piece to kind of keep it on the ground as opposed to tipping right over when you, when you hit it. So... Well, fingers crossed on that one. Yeah, exactly. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us about your piece, and good luck in the show. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it.